Hello there, people. This is Snowball Mage. Yes, doing a post commentary. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yeah, I know it's been quite a while. I haven't done a post commentary, and basically it's because I didn't have something to talk about. But hey, I have good news. I have a shit ton of unrelated things to talk about now. <laughs> so you're definitely gonna love this. And let me get started by saying that this game is part of a series of games, well, or I might as well say attempts, that I'm doing a, a personal challenge, which is that I want to make a 10k untouchable deathmatch with at least one prestige in the lobby. And you can imagine this is rage inducing as hell. <laughs> Because this is, oh my god, sometimes I'm just like halfway through the game without a single death and then boom, I die. And uh, that's just terrible. And with the playstyles that people have these days, which means gun and more gun, even in deathmatch, it makes it even more annoying. So yeah, but hey, the good thing is that sometimes, even well, even if I don't do the challenge, just because I'm trying so hard to do it, I managed to get some interesting gameplay, and this just happens to be one of those games, which is really good. So you know, just keep watching the screen while hearing me, because everything is awesome. <laughs> okay, the next thing I want to say is that, well, for those of you that actually missed my post commentaries, I did a guest commentary for a friend of mine whose name is Sergio Caperoso, yes, <laughs> that's a Spanish name, so it has a really weird pronunciation, <laughs> but yeah, that name. So I'm gonna put a link at the top so you can check it if you want. Ah, come on! You know you want. <laughs> you know you want to see one of Nova's postcoms. <laughs> They're so rare that every time one comes out you just have to check them. <laughs> so yeah, you know, just go check that uh, uh, guest commentary and, you know, leave the poor man a like. Because <laughs> he's my friend. Actually, he's my oldest friend in terms of online world. I would say. And he's a really good guy, so I think he deserves that. So, you know, just check it out. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. Among the many things that I have to say, well, yes, another thing that happened in the meantime is that YouTube forced me to change my layout, which sucks. Well, kind of sucks, because I love my previous layout. But what can I do? You know, gotta settle for what we have. So there, we have a new layout. But fortunately, I didn't have any channel art, but the evil inn came to my rescue. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank the Lord some, somebody had mercy on my soul. Because I completely suck in terms of any art related thing. I completely not aesthetical, I think that's the word. <laughs> but I just, thing is, I just suck. So, so thank, thank God somebody had mercy for me and gave me a little channel art yeah so thank you Evelyn for your awesome work <laughs> Woo. okay well uh, well and, and another thing I have to say is that well as you may know I have gone quite past the 500 shop barrier <laughs> as one might say and I haven't done any subscriber special so I was thinking about you know being completely original and doing a q and a for <laughs> for my well I just can't help but laugh while saying that <laughs> and doing a q and a for my subscriber special so basically in the comment section of this video leave your question for me it can be basically anything I can't promise I'll answer it because there's always one funny guy that when you say that you're gonna answer any question they always come up with the most clever of the questions, like, what is your credit card number? Or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't promise I'll answer everything, but most likely, you know, I'll give my best. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to do something worthy. And, yeah, you know, so anything you had curiosity about me, uh, and even if it's personal, uh, if I can't answer, I will answer it. So, you know, just go ahead and ask away. Okay, so, uh, well, I actually wanted to, even before that uh, subscriber special, I actually wanted to thank uh, all my subscribers because, uh, seriously, well, I didn't quite think <laughs> I was going to make it, I will say, this far or have this many subscribers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it was unexpected or 
or I, I don't know. I, I I just I just want to say it feels really good to have so many people that actually like my stuff because I mean there's just not nothing special to it. I mean I just go ahead and say a few words and you guys are like oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just really thankful for that and. I it's not just about the numbers because it's it's more about the, oh my god <laughs> that guy following my decoy <laughs> uh, but yeah you know it's not just about the numbers is that uh, every time you meet new people and people with different ways of looking at things uh, you know people who di live in different countries and it's just crazy like the amount of new stuff that you discover by doing this kind of thing and I'll be honest uh, this was kind of like always a dream of mine although I didn't quite think I was gonna achieve it through YouTube but I always thought that one of the things that I wanted to do was to meet a lot of people with you know different ways of looking at things and this actually turned out pretty well oh and you don't want to miss this look at this look at this boom that was certain death. Thank God I had bodyguard. <laughs> and that he backed away thinking that I had a smoke bomb because if not I would have died. That was just uh, crazy. I kind of had... I, I, you know, normally because you can die it doesn't matter that you die. But there, because I am trying specifically to survive the entire match without dying. It, it kind of felt too thrilling when I survived. But yeah. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh... Uh, meeting new people, yes, that's what I was saying. <laughs> sometimes it, well, <laughs> it's not always a really good thing, because sometimes you meet really weird people, but for the most of it, you know, I try to look at the positive th things that people have, and everybody has something to offer, I would say, or at least most, yeah, I won't say, I won't say everyone, but okay, I'll say most people have something positive to offer, if you look, uh, you know, if you look into their personality. Oh my god, what am I gonna do here? Oh, yeah, okay, look at that. Decoy, decoy. Ah, uh, try your smoke bomb. Ah, uh, boom. And get an aimcock without any effort. <laughs> so, shit, don't distract yourself, Nova. Keep focus. Keep talking about what you were talking. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, basically, that's it. I just wanna say that I'm thankful and that. Yeah, you know, just keep coming back. Uh, if you like my content, I'm just gonna keep doing my best post more and more stuff and finally one last thing I want to talk about is well about Assassin's Creed 4 the rebuilt footage for Assassin's Creed 4 and well I can say that so far I'm really happy with all that I have seen uh, and what I like the most is that I have, from what I see Ubisoft actually focus more instead of just you know improving the graphics and other stuff about the game they actually improve the mechanics of the game so a lot of people are complaining that it looks the same and that it has the same kill animations and blah blah blah. But to be honest, I mean, I'm happy in terms of how the game looks. And <laughs> a kill animation doesn't make all that difference. It does make a bit of difference. And anyway, I'm sure that the character is probably going to have unique kill animations later on. Or at least for the reckless kills like they have always had since the revelations. But... Anyway, what, as I was saying, what makes me really glad is that they actually focus on changing the mechanics of the game. Because AC was getting really stale the way it was going. <laughs> as it was just more of the same, just pressing an, an ability and, you know, overpowered gun and blah blah blah. But at least now, there are going to be some, I think, important changes that are going to change the way that Assassin's Creed is played. Especially the fact that contested kills no longer drain your mirror to a specific point, but rather they cut it by half. It's gonna be really good. I mean, uh, now you don't lose everything because that, this wasn't uh, Assassin's Creed. It was just a contested kill match in Deathmatch, for example, or even in Warned. So at least now it, it, there is a point to being stealthy. You're actually gonna get more points, not just a contested kill. And the fact that some other bonuses also act, act as multipliers, such as hidden, that now gives you like twice the points instead of just giving you additional points, means that, for example, hiding and getting a kill, if it get if it gets contested, is gonna cancel each other out. So you're gonna get your original bonus. Well, f and finally, the 
Other thing about Assassin's Creed 4 that I liked, and that we actually hoped since a long time for this, was the lab mode, which will let you organize at least tournaments really easy. I think people are over-hyping the lab mode that, oh, you can change and remove things you don't want, blah, 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 but there's not gonna, I don't think there's going to be more than one, maybe, public lab mode. Ubisoft is going to put a few ones weekly, but you're probably only going to be able to do it on private, you know. It's not going to, like, you're going to be able to do it on, on public matches, have a lap. Oh, and would you look at that? 8 oh. <laughs> no deaths. And we have Persist players. Well, it was kind of close to making the challenge, but I didn't quite get the score. But yeah, you know, that was a good attempt. And it was, I think, it was a really interesting game anyway. Well, guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. As usual, if you liked, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.